here from the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, you always need to bring your best in terms of dress wear. Oh, Ed, I got the really good stuff on today. I spent a lot of money in the stores, probably more than I should have. But you know what? Let's focus on the game. The credit card bill is on its way. So is the start of this one. The Jazz begin this game with the basketball. Simmons. To Gobert. That's out. Last touch by Rudy Gobert. It to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Simmons into the front court. Down just a couple. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. His first effort off the mark. And the foul, and a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. is good. Gets the three-point play. It's quickly 5-0. Utah ball. Nothing going here on that drive. Anthony Davis able to recover with the block. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. They get it down to Gobert. Nice pass to set things up. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Here's Simmons with it up top. He'll run the offense. Porter. And breaks it up. Los Angeles. They have it. Oh, not a good pass there. That's a turnover. In the front court comes Simmons. 8-2, our score. Anthony Davis pins it. Just incredible timing in that swap. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Just wait a second, Ed. Wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back. That's how you play this game. He takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. The drive right to the basket. Oh, ben Simmons. He's two for five. Not great, but trending. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. 
you actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. Lakers ball. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Good as he completes a three-point play, and the lead is up to nine. Has a chance. Wide open look won't go. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. You can finally see this team starting to get their rhythm and their groove offensively. This is a good run to get them back in the ball game. And scores. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Here comes the screen. Count it. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. It down with authority. That's a good run right here to end the first quarter to open up that lead. If you're the coach of this team, you have to like the effort your guys are giving. No good. Long key from three quarters court. We're through one from Staples Center with the Lakers on top. Jay and I return to the City of Angels after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the Simmons. Off the assist. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. And the finish at the rim. No doubt about where that one was headed. Utah's got it. To Simmons. Great look and vision. 
And the rebound taken down by the Lakers. He wants it at the rim and scores. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. To Simmons. And look out. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. Rudy Gobert with a piece. Sent a message on that one, Ed. To Simmons. Simmons, four out of seven. Old school equals high percentage. All right here. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To Simmons. He shoots, oh, off the mark. Stuffs it down with authority. I mean, Ed, I get more and more impressed with guys' ability to shift their body. That's a Euro step, a side step. However they find a way to get through traffic and finish like that, oof. Oh, you could sense that coming. Mm -hmm. There is a premium market for players with that type of hand-eye coordination. And stuffs it home. That's the intensity you need to see. Whenever a player running back on defense after a dunk like that holds the inside of his forearm, it lets you know how hard he dunked that basketball. Anthony Davis lets it go. Not that time. On the follow, way to stay with it. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Flushes it home. Big finish, big finish. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. Look out. Anthony Davis with the slam. Brow down. Ed, when you come into my town. Wow, you rhyming right there? Obviously first half comes to an end with the Lakers in command. I'm Jalen Rowe, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Lakers were the dominant team in that first half, without question. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Jazz may be in the build. Player of the half. I'm ready to skip ahead and just get this guy player of the game. You can tell he's on his way to a special game. Here are the top plays from the opening half. Halftime report. The second half is about to get started.
knocks it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Short jumper and a put back slam. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. They go down low to Simmons. Lakers at the controls right now. To Davis. Anthony Davis. Quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Simmons. Doesn't have the touch. No good. The follow won't go either. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dumped that thing like a tennis ball. It looked Defense. like that in his hand. Defense, let's go. Watch the pick, watch the pick right. Gets a look, can't hit. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Simmons with it. Down a bundle. Gets it in the right corner. Hand up, hand up. Here it comes. Simmons. He was all over him. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Now a whistle and a timeout for Utah as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Into the game for the Los Angeles Lakers, number 10. Got a piece. That's going to be out of bounds. One to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Runners good there. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. It's Jazz ball. Has a look. And the Lakers able to grab the rebound. Crazy shot that time. No good. He 
gets it. That ends the third quarter. So far, it's been all Lakers. Utah basketball as we begin the fourth quarter and they've really had very little go right for them on either end of the floor. Remember that old line your attitude determines your altitude well when you see dejected faces on <laughs> trying to cash in that's what you've come to expect. Your best players making baskets. Oh, my goodness. Someone please patch me into the arena intercom. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three. Now ready to shoot at the line. Ed and I want to go home, too. But fouls like that only stop the clock for all of us. First free throw is good. them both. Simmons with it. His guys down big. And scores. Strong take. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. I mean, Stuffs it down with authority. Jay, that's been the story this evening. I mean, another one? Another dunk? Another easy possession? I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team? Why am I the only one yelling? I don't see anybody on the bench yelling. I don't see anybody on the court even angry right now. And the basket good at the rim. Underutilized. 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 Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of that. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. to the total. This game feels out of reach. Utah with the possession. Simmons. Ah, the monster stuff. See, these are the type of opportunities the defense doesn't take advantage of. When that guy went up for that dunk, he cradled the ball to gain momentum. As soon as he brings that ball back to you in the cradle, you have to have active hands get in there, strip that ball away. Simmons into the front court. Hey, up, Looking to make up. something happen. Nothing going here on that drive. Wide open look won't go. Stuffs it down with authority. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Has a chance. Can't connect. Defense did its job that time. And count the basket inside. The Lakers get the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.
For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. David Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Lakers put their opponents away in a blowout. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. Check out the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. Player of the game. I like this choice because he really put on a show in this game. There's a reason he's a fan favorite.